Hey everybody, Matt the Garden Guy here. Take a little tour on my indoor garden right now. Come over here, I have my watering system right there, the drip emitters from Carpathin. I just got a little pump in the, in the five gallon bucket there of water, going up right there, hooked up to an Alexa, not you, but a switch right there. So in this first pot right here, growing some nice lettuce. Got a bunch of the lettuce growing in here. Right now I have five plants. I got one right there. It's kind of small. One of the plants died and well, fortunately I had some plants right there that I was able to put right in there. So let's uh, make our way over here to my hydroponic system. Um, I have some strawberries growing here. These guys will take a little bit. But this guy's finally starting to do all new growth. All that stuff died back when I put it in here. And it's coming coming back alive here. Uh, I got some lettuce growing in here too. I'm kind of testing hydroponic versus the pot. Um, eh, it's like 50-50 right now. Uh, that one is a new plant because I had transplanted it. But then you can see right here, this is a really good one. Really thriving one. So um, I'd say they're kind of almost even. It looks like... These are a different type. These are going to be romaine. And these are, I don't know exactly what kind these are, but it's a different type of lettuce. So, and then right over here, I got some green beans growing. I got two right now. I got some more down here. More lettuce. Well, this guy had a little bit of an accident. Kind of accidentally broke my tomato plant. So, I'm hoping I can get some new roots growing on that and get that guy going. So, and like I said, just mostly lettuce and that. And I got some, I got a broccoli plant in here. I have a green, um, green pepper plant. Now, fun fact is I planted this green pepper plant the same time I planted this tomato plant. Now this tomato plant in the hydro, hydroponic system was about this big. I got one over here in this pot. This tomato was planted the same exact time that tomato plant was put in the hydroponic system. So you do the math. Hydroponic system, the tomatoes, love that. So I got two more tomato plants in there. I'm probably going to get them over here in this hydroponic system. Because I don't really know if this one's going to survive. Coming down, I've got some basil. Got some really cool basil growing here. Starting to get some leaves with a little uh, yellow, lighter green. I got none on that one, just those two. I don't really know exactly why yet. I'll try to figure it out. But yeah, coming down back to this green pepper plant. So I got a couple more in there, depending if this guy will make it or not. I think this one's gonna make it, so I'm not gonna have to redo that. Um, I have a broccoli plant growing in here. This guy's doing really good. It's starting to get kind of long, so I'm wondering if the lights are not, um, are too far above. Right, Piper? And then I got another broccoli plant right here. <clears throat> it's about the same same as those two. So maybe 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 I'm right on schedule. I don't know yet. Still try, still trying to learn it. And like I said, I got this lettuce right here. And then more basil. But then as backup, what I tend to do a lot, they got more plants growing right there. Let's take a quicker look at those. Not a quicker, a closer look at those. Alrighty, so yeah, a bunch of different types of lettuce. This is uh this is a blend. Um, that's a red leaf. That's another red leaf. It's this blend, a romaine, just like I got right in here. Another romaine. This is a bib leaf. It's another romaine. Like I said, I got a cup, two more green peppers. I got two tomatoes, and I got some green cabbage in here. Um, I have three green cabbages. I'm not going to be growing those green cabbages here in the house. I'm hoping that they get a little bit bigger and maybe about mid-February. So the dog was eating one of these clay pebbles. She thinks it's dog food. 
Um, but in about mid-February, so I'm hoping these green cabbage plants get a little bit bigger, those guys are going out into the hoop house. My math is right. I think with the weather turning right around the end of March or February here, I should be able to get those into my hoop house there. So what else am I growing right now? Right there, I have my celery root. Post the video on celery root, starting it, saying that it does take a very long time to germinate. These guys germinate a little bit faster because I have them on top of one of those seed starting heat pads. Um, germination is typically 20 to 30 days. I think they started germinating. I think they started popping up after two weeks. So it did speed it up a little bit. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, that's what I have right there with that. I'm looking at these guys. They're starting to get a little dry. It's gonna worry me. I, I don't really want these to dry out. But yet again, it's a fine balance. I do not want them to get too wet. Um, I've had these celery root seeds die because I gave them too much water versus not enough. So as I see that dirt, it's not really dirt, it's like the uh, cocoa mix stuff. Once I start seeing that stuff start to get lighter color, not that deep dark color, I just go in and just spray it with my, with my squirt gun. So now I have right here, as I have a couple more broccoli plants. The goal for those broccoli plants is to put them in the hoop house the same time I put my green cabbage out there. So typically the green cabbage and broccoli can handle a light freeze or some, you know, some colder weather. And inside the hoop house, it will protect it from a lot of that, um, what I would say, late winter, early spring, um, like cold snaps that come in, the wind that comes in, that hoop house is gonna help protect those plants and might drop down a little bit, get a little cold, but I believe that these plants will survive out there. I might have to put a couple extra blankets on it when it's super cold, but I think I can do that. So I got my broccoli right there and right in the back here. You probably saw a little quick video I did on this. Let's see if I can recreate it. Mm. My cilantro. I love cilantro. My wife hates it. I think there's two people out in the world, people that like cilantro and you don't like it. You can't semi like it. I think um, some people say that it tastes like soap. I think those are the people that don't like it. Um, I don't think it tastes like that. So I got my cilantro growing right there. And you see right here, a couple weeks ago, I started planting some cucumbers. Right next to the cucumbers, I have different types of peppers red peppers, and then I did a yellow pepper. So I got a bunch of peppers in there. And the cucumbers, believe it or not, are gonna live right there in the hoop house, or not in the hoop house, wow, in the hydroponic system. And then those other peppers, I'm just growing them to see how long they're gonna germinate. Um, I like to do that with a lot of seeds that I get that I've never grown before. Kind of gives, kind of go in my, my research mode. Kind of see how long it's going to take. So I'm just doing a test with those. And, you know, maybe if I have enough room in the hydroponic system, I'll throw them in there. Otherwise, I'll just try to make them grow large enough and keep them until about end of May to put them outside. Worst case, if they're doing, worst case, bad case, or worst case, good case, Good case, hey, they're nice and big. Worst case, they're they're not. Um, it's not nice enough to go out in the full yard. I'll just go throw them there in the hoop house. It's the benefit of having a fairly large hoop house. Um, I know I got a lot of people, a lot of new people here. You might know, not know, but my hoop house is 10 feet by 18 feet. Last year, it was 10 by, I think 10 by 10. So I added another eight feet to it last year. So I can throw it out there. I'm gonna have these little, extra mini greenhouses inside the hoop house too, to help give it a lot more of that supplemental 
um, protection and heat that it might need. So, so what do I got going on right now? I got my hydroponic system. I have my lettuce. Oh yeah. What's that in the back? Let's check a look at that. This guy right here, a lot of really good growth, by the way. This is all new, all new, This, but this winter keeping it downstairs. That is a lime tree. I picked it up in Florida at the beginning of last year. I had a lime and a lemon tree. The lemon died and the lime is working. So um, I got this thing growing inside there. It's not gonna be staying inside here, um, but a lemon, the citrus, it can't handle that cold weather. I think they say if it's below 60, you gotta bring it inside. So that lemon tree is, or that lime tree is gonna be living, bunking with me here in my basement in the house here for several more weeks, months, actually. <laughs> Sorry, the dog picked something up, kind of distracted me. <sighs> she picked up a little Lego. Puppy. She's getting into everything. That's okay. So that lime tree is going to stay with me for several more months until it gets uh, that nice and warm weather outside. I could probably throw it in the hoop house a little bit early too. But man, that hoop house is going to start getting packed up. So right here, I'm going to start getting some um, more of my microgreens growing. You remember, those won't take that long. Um, ah, three days, four days, I should be able to have those microgreens. So probably going to get some microgreens going this weekend so i'll have my microgreens growing i got my lettuce growing i have my strawberries my pea my sorry my beans well i had a tomato plant but you know somebody had to go kill it um got my broccoli plants got my pepper plant so i got my all year long growing growing here in my basement hydroponic system if you haven't seen the video yet go check it out it's on all of my platforms uh youtube instagram facebook tiktok i got the video on how i did this just search hydroponic system then i have my stuff right here my lettuce my lime got some extra stuff growing anybody can grow all year long you just got to do it i'm here to help you let me know if you need help with anything keep growing and i'll talk to you later